In this lesson, we learn how to use the data analysis tool and statistical functions to compute a battery of descriptive statistics describing the central tendency, spread, and shape of the distribution. This lesson assumes that the data encompasses the entire population of interest and not just a sample. If you're trying to find out the summary statistics, which are based on just a sample, then you should use the previous lesson, Lesson 3, um, which was summary statistics. However, in this case, we have the entire population. I will use data like we used last time. I have dates from December 1st going down to December 16th. And uh, this time, I only have the data for Tina. And this is the number of episodes that occurred on each of these days. December 1st, she had zero episodes. December 2nd, she had one. December 3rd, she had one. December 4th, she had two, etc. So this column is the number of episodes that Tina has. Now, if I just want to describe her behavior on, or the number of episodes on these days, without inferring what that means to her today, or on December 17th, or any other day, I'm just trying to describe this data, then I'll use descriptive statistics. One way of doing that is to do it pretty much the same way we did it last time. We'll go up to Data, or I'm sorry, we'll go to Tools. We'll go down to the bottom of our menu to Data Analysis. So we click on Data Analysis. We should go to Descriptive Statistics. So it's on Descriptive Statistics. I'll click OK. Now what I need to do is to enter the data. Actually, it's already there, but let me play like it's not there. Let me play like this whole thing is blank, actually. And what I'll do is now start filling it in. One way I can do this is I could um, click on this arrow here and get this and then highlight my data. And in this case, I'm going to highlight the label, Tina's name, as well as the data. And then I click on this little red meter here, and the data is here. That's one way of doing it. Another way of doing it would be just to click. If you have XP or, or later, you can just, from here, just click here. And when you let go, it's filled in automatically. Another way I could have done it is I could have just entered the data. I could say, okay, I want from B1 all the way down to B17. Any of those ways will work. I do want to click Labels in first row so that it doesn't try and use Tina as a, as a number. It wouldn't. It would tell me I have an error. But I do want, need to say Labels in first row. Normally, this is set for uh, New Worksheet Ply. But I want to click it to say Output Range. And then I need to click inside this box. Now, that's very important, because if I hadn't clicked inside this box, and I would have started typing, it would have typed in the last box I was in. So I need to click and get this flashing uh, line in the box that I'm going to type before I start typing. This is asking, where do I want it to start putting the answer? In other words, where will be the top left corner of the answer? And I'm going to put that in D2. And I need to make sure that Summary Statistics is checked. So here, I'll click on Summary Statistics. Now I'll click. Everything looks to be right. It says it's in columns. Everything seems to be right, so I'll press OK. And I get my data, but I get my data all squished up. So what I'm going to do is I'll go to Format. I'll go to Column, and I'll go Auto Fit Selection. Now, this is the correct mean and median and mode, but there are some things that are not correct answers. They're actually correct answers to a different question. Uh, and that's the standard deviation and the variance. These are assuming that my data is samples, and it's giving me correct answers to sample data, but since I don't have sample data. I have the entire population. These are actually incorrect in our case. Now, normally, I just click on it and hit delete to get rid of those 
incorrect answers. But today I'm just going to highlight them, make them yellow, so that we see which answers they are. And normally I would ask you to put the correct answers, the corrected answers for population in this cell. But I'm going to put it in, this, in column F so that we can compare them. Let's start with the standard deviation. 